Hi and welcome to St. Mildred's Lightborn School's new wing. The St. Mildred's Lightborn School Edition project was completed in April of 2011. The building is pursuing LEED certification. LEED stands for Leadership in Energy and Environmental Design. It is an internationally recognized green building rating system. It provides third-party verification that a building was designed and built using methods targeting five major categories. Sustainable sites, water efficiency, energy and atmosphere, materials and resources, and indoor environmental quality. There are four levels of certification, certified, silver, gold, and platinum. The St. Mildred's Lightborn School is pursuing the silver level. The four levels are determined by the building's overall point score. Performing or incorporating certain sustainable practices or designs is acknowledged through the awarding of points. In the exterior and parking lot, no new parking spaces were added. By not oversizing the parking lot, alternative means of transportation, such as carpooling and cycling, are encouraged. This reduces the amount of developed area and materials used in the construction of the parking lot, thereby further preserving the environment. Bicycle racks have been provided to encourage staff, students, and visitors to cycle to the building. Changing rooms and shower facilities are provided to further facilitate cycling to the school. The building's new addition has a highly reflective roof to reflect much of the sun's rays. This helps reduce the heat island effect and keeps the building cooler in the summer months. An erosion and sedimentation plan was put in place during construction to prevent loss of topsoil by stormwater runoff and prevent sedimentation in storm sewers. During construction of the dining hall, all waste leaving the site was monitored and an effort was made to recycle as much of the construction waste as possible. By the end of construction, over 90% of waste from the construction site was diverted from landfills. To reduce impact resulting from extraction, processing, and manufacturing of new virgin materials, materials and products were carefully selected based on recycled content. These materials include steel made from scrap metal, concrete containing fly ash, and asphalt that contains recycled asphalt paving. To reduce the impacts resulting from the transportation of construction materials, an effort was made to select local materials wherever possible. To be considered local, both the manufacturing and extraction locations had to be within 800 kilometers from the school. Throughout the building, there are easily accessible recycling bins to facilitate and encourage recycling. Additionally, the center recycling collection areas are designed to be large enough to allow for the collection, separation, and storage of all recyclable materials collected within the building. Low mercury lamps were specified throughout the building and site. Mercury is a toxic substance and its use should be minimized wherever possible. In the courtyard, native and drought tolerant plant species were selected for landscape plantings to reduce water required for irrigation. Washroom fixtures are highly efficient. Dual flush toilets and low flow urinals, faucets and showers reduce the building's water consumption by over 40%. Rainwater falling on the roof is collected and stored in a 19,000 liter 5,000 gallon cistern and is used to flush toilets and urinals. The performance of the cistern was modeled using historical daily rainfall data and it demonstrated that the use of harvested rainwater for toilet flushing will offset 350,000 liters of potable water annually. Over 75% of wastewater for flushing will come from the cistern. In an effort to further the environmental stewardship at the St. Mildred's Lightborn School, a green housekeeping plan has been implemented in the building to ensure all janitorial products used in the building are environmentally friendly and are green seal or eco logo certified. The Student Resource Center was designed to provide a thermally comfortable environment throughout the year. Heating and cooling set points are specifically tailored to the expected occupant activity levels within the various spaces of the building, as well as the expected outdoor temperatures. During construction, a strict indoor air quality management program was implemented and some of the measures included Air duct openings were sealed and protected from dust and other debris. Finished materials such as paints, sealants, and adhesives were chosen with low VOC levels. All absorptive materials such as insulation were protected from moisture, damage, and absorption of contaminants prior to installation. Construction was scheduled to ensure any absorptive materials were installed after odorous materials had off gaps. After construction had been completed, fresh air was supplied throughout the building for at least nine days to flush out any air contaminants present due to construction. A permanent carbon dioxide monitoring system is installed to provide feedback to the ventilation system 
to ensure sufficient fresh air is supplied to indoor spaces. When we breathe, we inhale oxygen and exhale carbon dioxide. When the amount of carbon dioxide in a space reaches a certain level, more fresh air is provided. However, if the carbon dioxide levels remain low, the amount of fresh air brought into the space remains the same. Fenestration in the window area is maximized to provide views to the outdoors for more than 90% of the floor space. In the corridor, the building was designed to be extremely energy efficient. In fact, the building is 52% more energy efficient when compared to a building designed to national energy codes. This was achieved by the following. Utilizing a geothermal heat pump system. Utilizing heat recovery. Improving the building envelope, insulation and air tightness and reducing the lighting power density. Underneath the open space facing the new classrooms on the southern side are a series of vertical geothermal heat exchange wells. The building's geothermal heat pump system takes advantage of the Earth's relatively stable temperatures to conserve energy. Pipes containing a refrigerant are positioned in the ground and are connected to the building. Heat is either accepted or rejected to the ground, depending on the season and outside air temperature. A heat recovery unit was incorporated into the design to improve the overall energy efficiency of the HVAC system. The heat recovery unit extracts heat from the air leaving the building to preheat incoming air. This saves energy required for heating. The HVAC system uses no CFCs or HCFCs and the fire suppression system does not use any halons, thereby eliminating any risk of these ozone depleting substances being released into the atmosphere. An independent commissioning firm was retained during the design and construction process. This commissioning process is a quality assurance method that provides third-party verification that planning, design, construction, and operational processes are achieving their goals.